All right, YouTube. Uh, I'm here. I'm here making a video on how to make realistic grass in Blender. Um, I'm here with my buddy Killer Ball Sack. Say hi, idiot. Yo, what's up? All right. Now to get started, we're gonna open up Blender. Alright, start off by doing your default cube. T hit the space bar. Type, oh, sorry. <laughs> type plane. Hit enter. Scale it up to however big you want your, your grass to be. You want it that small. That big. That small, you know. However, I'm gonna make it that size just for you guys to see it easier. Alright. If you want it to be realistic, what you could do, tab over to edit mode. Hit W, subdivide about five times, and do that. Then go into sculpt mode, and just and do this, and make like whoops. Just make like uh, bumps that look like dirt bumps or whatever. See, it makes the little bumps, but I do that. And make sure the subdivisions are gone. Alright, now to make this look like actual dirt, what I'm going to do is go into the material tab, click new, change that to like uh, like yellow, and then scroll my middle mouse button down and it'll, and it'll turn it about something about that color. That looks good for dirt. Alright. <coughs> Next thing we're going to do is learn how to use particles. Right here, the little star tab like thing, not sure what to call it, it's the particle tab. Click plus. Change the name of it from particle system to grass. Hit enter. And the name of that particle is now grass. Change it, change the type of it to a hair type. Click advanced. Um, change the amount to about somewhere around we'll do 470s like that give it a more filled in like look alright now what we're gonna do is scroll down to the the velocity section right here change the normal which is the height this is the bottom layer of grass, so we're going to make it fairly short. Somewhere around there. Alright, now what we're going to do, scroll down and click on the children section. It's down here, it's, it's minimized, so, and click interpolated, and it'll make, it'll like duplicate all the grass and make it, and scatter it all over the place. Okay, now what we're going to do, to make it look like realistic grass and have a bit of a bend to it is we're going to go up to the physics tab and hey, let me expand this to show you what it what it is to make sure I'm recording yep sorry I forgot if I was recording or not and we're going to change the brownian but don't do it like this as you can see it really messes it up So what we're going to do is make it have a bit of a curve to it. Drag. I'm not really sure what this does. I'll turn that up a bit. The dampening, that kind of messes it up. So don't play with that. And drag, I'm pretty sure that makes some of the grass just very lightly bend a little bit more but I don't need that I'm not sure if you guys want to use it but go ahead feel free uh, I'm not sure what that does alright next thing we're gonna do is click plus up here and add the second layer of grass click I mean type grass 2 hit enter change it from emitter to hair as you can see it's still long uh, Chain, click advanced, 
change amount to about 200 and something like 200 and or make it 300 scroll down and change your normal to about something like that the reason I'm leaving the uh, the top layer of grass bigger than the lower layer of grass I'll come to that um, during the, the coloring when I color them okay now we're gonna go down to the children's section click interpolate and go back up to to the normal. I'm not the normal, I mean the amount. Turn that down just a bit. Somewhere around there. And go down to the brownie in. And give that a bit of more curved look than the bottom level of grass. Alright. Next we're going to get into the coloring for the grass. So what we're gonna do go back into the material. Click plus new change this this is for this the material too is for the bottom layer of grass change that to a bright green color change the intensity to 1.0 and click plus again <coughs> click new material 3 that's for the top layer of grass what we're going to do is change that do like a light yellowish color or medium yellow make it like a yellow green this this color is going to simulate the sun beating down on the top layer of grass giving it that yellowish color color like look so now we're going to apply the colors first we're going to select the first grass scroll down to your render tab change the material to 2 and there you'll see that it changes to green then scroll up and go to grass 2 go back down your render tab and change the material to 3 and there's that but what we're going to do to make it look a little more realistic is change the brownie in a bit more somewhere like that now the next thing that we're going to do is set up our lamps for the render so press space type lamp hit enter click sun move it up move it on the x-axis over this way then rotate it on the y-axis then move it up then move it over this way on the y-axis then rotate it on the x-axis to give it more of an offset lighting effect then a little trick I learned oh first we're gonna uh, color the sun so it has a yellow color to it like the real sun set this to a bright yellow energy change this to a 1.5 alright then what we're gonna do add another lamp whoops add another lamp add a spot lamp move it up and move it right about there change it to a bright blue to mim to simulate the color of the sky right about there right there leave the energy at 1.0 and we're just about ready for the render so here we go uh, you can do the render by hitting the uh, render hotkey which is F12 right now it's uh... Zach was trying to do that the other day I already did it I, sh I showed him how to do it Ha uh, ha ha. Now you got all that in your video. I don't care. Uh, is it a slider? Yeah. Mine. That's because I threw it before.
sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's his wacky uncle. Wacky, 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 wacky. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while to render. So I'm just gonna pause the video. Alright, now it's doing the render. Sometimes it'll take a while, depending on your hardware yeah. on, in your computer. Alright, I'm going to pause the video until it finishes because it's taking a while. Alright guys, here's our final result. My render finally finished. And as you can see, it actually looks like realistic grass. You can zoom in, zoom out, you know. If you hear a bird chirping, that's my stupid parrot. So yeah, he's kind of trying to mess me up. Alright, and that's it guys. Have fun. Make your own maps and blender. Do whatever you want to do. Bye. Rate, comment, subscribe.